Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at sub accounts. They're primarily designed for resellers and agencies. The master account can allocate a monthly usage to each sub account. Then we build a master account and the reseller can build their sub account user accordingly. They keep all of the user's data separate and they can manage through the master account. If there's an issue with the sub account, our review team will contact the sub account directly. And if the sub account user needs to contact their technical team, they can do so directly and they don't need to go through the master account. Sub accounts have access to almost all of the same features as a regular account user. However, they don't have access to billing or paid features, such as adding their own dedicated IPs, and they can't exceed their monthly allowance without the master account increasing this for them. If they try to send more than their monthly allowance, any additional emails will be queued until their allowance is renewed or increased. Here's a new account that I've just set up under Louise SMTP to go. Let's imagine that I want to use this as a master account and I want to add some sub accounts. So I'm going to click to my dashboard settings and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom where I can find sub accounts. Once I click here, I can see separate your customer's activity with sub accounts and I'm going to click on continue. Now, once I've done this, I'm on the sub accounts page. So what I want to start doing is add a sub account. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to put in a sub account name. So for example, um, sub account SMPP to go. The email address is optional. If you decide to add an email address here, it means that the sub account user will receive an email invite. So you can choose to add this or you can choose to leave a blank. Then you can assign your monthly email limit. So this depends entirely on your user. Um, for example, we're going to use 10,000. Then the data region. Here you can choose, do you want the data to be handled and sent through the United States, Europe, or Australia? Um, for example, if, you, if your customer is in Europe, they're going to need to comply with GDPR. So it's really important that they select Europe as their data region. So then once you've taken a look at our terms of service, you can click on the verification and we've just added our sub account. Okay, so now that we've added the sub accounts SMTP to go, let's take a look at what we can do from the master account. So if you click on this little arrow here, you can see that you can edit the details. So this brings us back here to the sub account name. You can change that at any time. You can still add an email address later if you'd like. And then here you can edit your monthly email limit as well. So click on save. Then if you come back here, you can see that you can log in as the sub account and you can also allow archiving. So this is something that can only be done from the master account. The sub account can't choose to do that themselves because it's a paid feature. So if they get in touch and they would like to allow the archiving, this is where you can do it. So I'm just going to enable it for this account. And at the end of the day, if the account holder decides for some reason that they want to deactivate their account, then you can do that from here as well. So you can choose to close the sub account. If you already have an SMTP user and you'd like to migrate it to a sub account, you can also do that without needing to delete them and re-add them. So we're going to move over here and we're going to click on migrate. Once we've done that, we can choose which sender we'd like to migrate. Then we choose the sub account. So here, for example, sub accounts SMTP to go. We choose that and then we click on migrate senders. And then confirm. Now, once we've done that, you can see that the sender has disappeared from the list here. We can go back to sub accounts. We can log in as sub accounts SMTP to go. And you can see that we are now in the sub account page for that user. So here you can see that this has changed. This is no longer Louise SMTP to go as Louise SMTP to go is the master account. This is the sub account. So here you can take a look at, for example, the SMTP users and you can see that Louise at SMTP to go has migrated over here. So there was no need to delete it and then re-add it. We can just move it over. So as you can see as well on our dashboard, the sub accounts have access to most of the features that are available to our um, regular users. So again, you've got your IP authentication, your API keys, your sender domains, everything else that you need to add. 
And again, the only thing that they don't have access to are the other paid features like adding um, a de another dedicated IP address, for example. Okay, so that's pretty much everything you need to know about sub accounts. If you have any questions or if you have any issues adding your sub accounts, then please feel free to contact our super friendly customer support team and we'll be able to help. Thanks for watching.